I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Grow 3. This is the original Grow that got really big. It's not the first Grow, since it's Grow 3. Um, and I'll be quite honest, it's not exactly one of my favorite Grows, because in most of the later Grows, there's a lot more obvious interactions between the different parts. Whereas with this one, it's there's a lot more parts, so it's more difficult than usual. And a lot of the interactions don't make a lot of sense, and, uh... I can see why it got popular. It's really, it's pretty fascinating, all the stuff that happens. But, um, it's the first, it's the one where it's pretty much required to use a guide to actually get to the end. I believe that hints were added. Um, I haven't played a version with hints, but the, um... The text up here mentioned hints. Yeah, hint increases the proportion of the number of playing the game, not displayed at first. So I'm I'm not really sure what the hints are. I, I, I suppose we'll be seeing them soon. If I fail a ton. Also, this one doesn't have the animation skip that Grow One had, unless that unlocks too. I'm not sure. I know re version three remake. I I played the original and. I was interested enough to check out Grow Cube is the first one I was really interested in. I'll be really sh excited to show Grow Cube. Uh, I think you'll see why I prefer the later grows when we play Grow Cube. But creating is always, you know, a learning process. So as we can see, we need more ladder s bits. This thing, this thing did nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh. Hit. Four. Oh! Oh! I see. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this thing's last. Alright, so mountains go forth. Drag materials to grow. That is a good way to do the hint system, though. I bet it unlocks one for each time, so if you do this, like, what is this? Twelve times, you'll just, you know, you'll know what to do. So, the ladder... Honestly, I'm just gonna look it up if I don't get it on accident after a few times. Um, the failure is a bit less exciting in this one. It's just... And honestly, I've said this before, but... Um, since I took... I started programming full-time as like my full-time job... Um, I don't have as much of an appetite for puzzle games, because basically puzzle solving is what I do at work. So, you know, I'm not super excited to do, you know, do unfun for pay puzzles and then go home and do fun but still stressful and headachey puzzles when I'm at home. But uh, most of the girl games are more fun than the frustration. Like I said, this is just kind of my least favorite of the main Grow games, to be quite honest. But hey, it's the first, it's kind of the first one that got popular anyway. So, bonus! It's a, the score system really doesn't make sense. The, there's a lot of cool stuff going on in this, so I don't really want to make it sound too terrible. Like, there's a lot of cute things that happen, but... Um, I think you'll see with the other ones, they just, they feel a lot more carefully crafted and, you know, more cohesive, whereas this is just kind of, stuff happens. So we got another hint, seven. I like that it, it sh lets you choose to see and unlock the hint. I I'll, I'll go one more, but... Like I said, I don't- I'm not really feeling this one. Actually, you know what? There's two endings, so I may as well... Just cheat already. Um... Hang on. Ugh. Jay's- I- I kind of appreciate that what Jay's Games does with the spoilers, where they sort of, they nest spoilers, so that, I knew the latter had so many things, so, um, 
they sort of li set up the spoilers so that, you know, if you only want to, like, if you're stuck on what number two should be, but you don't want the entire thing spoiled, you can sort of just only unspoil that one. Sort of a neat structure, but I do just want to, you know, spoil the whole dang thing. I won't just give up and spoil the later Grow games, because they're, you'll see why, but they're just a lot more fun to mess around in, and they're a lot, you know, more cohesive. It's easier to guess what you're supposed to be doing. It's easier to tell what you did wrong. In this one, my problem is just, it's so hard to tell what you did wrong. And that's what I'm sure why the hint system was added. But as you know, as an early success, you know, it's definitely easy to see why this got popular. I feel like I should have more respect for, you know, the original and all that stuff. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite when I played it, and then... I think I think it was Cube and then RPG. Uh, Cube is the first one that really grabbed my attention. RPG is where I got hooked. But this one just kind of feels like you really do need a guide. See, there's all this crap going on that just we absolutely did not find on accident. The hint system, I think, really does improve it, though. I just sort of didn't have the patience to do it, because I have played this a lot before. But we sort of see the real versions of everything once we get the level up. And the silly score system, they never... Oh, that's really cool. Um, so like I said, there is a hidden ending. I didn't realize it would give us hints for the secret ending too. But yeah, I since this is a let's play and I don't have infinite patience and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it for myself. I do think an animation skip would also be a nice addition like Grow 1. Because Grow 1's animations weren't really too long, and it did have the skip anyway. And this one, it's a bit more frustrating, but, uh, oh well. So as we can see, a lot of the stuff just doesn't work because of the order of stuff we put in. And that, that's sort of how the game hints that you mess something up. But it's, it just doesn't work as well in this in this game compared to the other ones. We've got a volcano going on. I forget if this one... Well, I won't spoil. There's, there's, there's a certain kind... of ending that often happens. Oh! What did we do? We broke it! We broke it! That's really cool! I actually don't think I've seen this one. Whoa, I, I I definitely haven't seen this one. See, I think I don't think this was in the original Grow 3. See, that's really cool. Man, I would not have gotten this on accident. <laughs> you can see the little thing growing down in. Alright. Let's boil that egg. Oh, scrambled, sorry. Oh, maybe just sunny side up? <laughs> this is neat. I like this, honestly, more than the original Grow 3. Like, I'm sure it was pretty cool back then, but the, uh... Plate. Um... I've seen all the other characters in different Grow games at this point. So it sort of loses its original whimsy, and just feels... It just... something just feels off in it. Though this ending is pretty great. Or, I mean, this route. I don't even know what the ending is quite yet, but. Is that. Oh, no. Oh, it's the sun. Dragon! It's so themed. I love it. 
Oh, we're destroying the universe. Oh dear. What are we doing? Seems dangerous. What is that? Oh, it's a furnace. See, now this is the girl I love. This, like... Seeing all the cool reactions and stuff. I like this a lot more than the original ending, to be quite honest. Tiny ladder. It's a volcano flame- er... It's a... Tor flamo. What are you gonna do with that ladder? <laughs> what? Oh, it's a train now! That makes sense. That's... Oh, it's... It's still a robot, not a train. Okay. It doesn't seem like an efficient train. It leveled up into an omelette. That's some classic grow. An egg leveled up into an omelette. <laughs> and the dragon's eating it. Aw, it's a little yin-yang. Now he's gonna level up. <laughs> ah! And we're all on fire. I'm sorry. And he went into the sun. Oh, that's cool. He's like a Corona. Congratu flames. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> Level fire. Yeah, the secret endings are always great. They're, they're usually better than the normal endings. But yeah, that that is Grow Three, and it's definitely better in the remake. Wait, how many how many freaking points? Thirty thousand points. I, I'm not really sure why. Grow 3 even has points, but it does. But yeah, that is Grow 3. Thanks for watching.